Yo, what's good? It's K Fella for K Fella Beats. And uh This video um is inspired by a post that I just seen from my um my man C Giles, um, one of the newest members of the B selling squad. And <clears throat> what he said in that post, you know, kind of got me thinking, because I've been thinking about this for a while now, and I hear a lot of people talk about it. Let me put this out. But I hear a lot of people talk about it and I just wanted to give my two cents in on it. Basically what his post was about, he was talking about trap music and how, you know, a lot of people, you know, talking about they like trap music needs to die and all of that, need to die off and they, you know, real hip hop and shit like that. And I've been I've been hearing that for a while now. And um what what I wanna say to to, to most people is this. Trap music has been around Basically, since I can remember, you know, listening to hip hop, you know what I'm saying trap music is nothing more than just talking about, you know, the struggles of, of being from the streets, from the hood, from the projects. You know what I'm saying? Now, we call it trap music, like you know, down south, you know, the Atlanta region, like they 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 got known for that over the last couple years. You know what I'm saying? But trap music has been around for as long as I can remember listening to hip hop. I mean. Basically, after NWA, all you really heard was trap music. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let's run down the list. Tupac made trap music. Biggie made trap music. Jay-Z still makes trap music. Nas made trap music. Big Pun made trap music. 50 Cent made trap music. Like... A lot of people get this misconception that, oh, trap music is just a down south thing and it's, you know, it's the heavy 808s and blah, 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 blah. They may have gotten that, that coin, you know, name for them as, as far as being trap music, but that's what they did to get themselves known for what they do. See, what a lot of people don't, a lot of people seem to forget now is that they see Atlanta popping. They see, I mean, the city jumping, a lot of the artists right there right now is the ones that is basically setting a lot of these trends that's going on out here. But a lot of motherfuckers got to understand, back in, the, back in the 90s, motherfuckers didn't respect the Southern rappers. You know what I'm saying? You had people like Scarface and then the Ghetto Boys. They had to, they had to fight for their spot. They had to fight for their spot. They had to fight for the respect to even be considered hip hop artists because a lot of the cats from New York and L.A. They didn't consider them hip hop. They did, you know, when they would go and do shows, they would get booed and, and people. You know what I mean, wouldn't really listen to them. Why? Because it wasn't wasn't what they was used to. You know what I'm saying? And they they, you know, they just said that's that's not. That's not us. So they had to they had to fight for that shit. Outcast, you know what I'm saying? Outcast broke barriers. They came out and just started doing their own thing. They had their own fucking lane and they 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 created that lane. You feel me? And then you had artists over time that just kept coming out from the south. You had Killer Mike's of the world coming out. He's saying them they going to shows and they getting booed and they just going up there and just kept going, kept spitting. You know what I mean? Cuz they had to earn their respect. They had to earn that respect to the T. You feel me? And then Little John came in and just fucked everything up. Little John came in and made a stand. Like, fuck that. Like, this is what it is. You feel me? Like, we gonna get that respect. You know what I mean? And then you had T.I. and Bone Crusher and all of these other Southern rappers coming out. Luda. You know what I'm saying? Coming in and just making a stand. Even though I don't think Luda is from Atlanta originally. I think he's from Ohio. But, you know, yet and still, he, he reps the A. You can't knock him for that. But anyway, what what a lot of people need to realize is that this day and age, instead of saying trap music, you know, death to trap music and all of that shit, a lot of people need to faint trap music because a lot of you motherfuckers wouldn't even have a quote-unquote career if it wasn't for trap music. And I'm just being honest, like a lot of y'all niggas couldn't do the kind of music that you're doing if it wasn't for trap music because a lot of y'all wouldn't rap on up, up North Beats, on East Coast Beats, on Cali-type beats. Y'all wouldn't rap on them style of beats. 
but y'all can do the trap music thing because the beats are basically generic. You know, like it, it's like nowadays when you hear the radio, everything is the same beat, the same song. Like literally, you can just put one song after the other, after the other, after the other, and that shit will not basically change. It'll be the same tempo, the same drum style of pattern, just the the melody might be a little different. You feel me? Now, when people say that, I can dig that. Like, let's get of the let's get rid of the the same sound type shit. I I completely agree with that. But saying deaf to trap music, no, you can't do that. That's that's their style. And whether you like it or not, trap music is hip hop. You can't you can't say that it's not. You can't say that that's not hip hop. But then y'all accept motherfuckers like Iggy Azalea. That don't make no fucking sense to me. Nah, you, you can't do that. You're going to have to accept tra trap music as just another form of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, if that's not what you prefer, you know, I prefer that people do, you know what I'm saying, a style of music that, that they do. Like, if you from the East Coast and, and that's your style of music, that's what you do, then then do that. Don't try to transition into the whole trap phase that just because that's what's popping. If you want to stand out, then I would love to hear some niggas on some boom bat beats and shit. I'm saying I heard a lot of I hear a lot of underground artists that that's hot and they don't even use trap beats. Shout out to my man, what's his name? 111. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? I just heard his music the other day. My man Eskimo Cole, you know I mean he co-signs for him. Like he he's hot. And his shit is just straight East Coast boom bap style of music. And, and he's gonna he's gonna make it one day. I see him making it, I mean, being out there doing his motherfucking thing. My brother Nickel Nine, he's a straight hip hop boom bap style of rapper. That's his that's his area. If y'all niggas wanna get rid of the trap music, it's not gonna happen. It's not going to, because it's hip hop. But if y'all want something different, then put out something different. Don't don't try to emulate what other motherfuckers is doing. You know what I'm saying? And then say death to it because you can't get on. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's just not going to happen. The reason that you're hearing so much trap music nowadays is because everybody want to emulate this shit because it's popping. It's what's selling. That That's what's selling right now. So everybody want to run to that. You know what I'm saying? When they're not realizing that this trend of the, the whole trap era phase is going to go out sooner or later in the next phase that comes in you might want to be the one that's headlining that you look at j cole j cole is if you want to consider him the the headliner or the the trailblazer to bring back the the real hip-hop back you know what i mean that that east coast feel to it then yeah like you can say that he he's trying to steer people back into that direction so i would say if you're tired of hearing that then then latch on to the artist that's trying to push that style of music out and support them. See, a lot of motherfuckers don't want to support nobody. This is why Atlanta is popping right now. This is why everybody is trying to do their style of music. And, 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 it, and the reason being is because they're smart down there in the A. Let me spark this real quick. I don't usually smoke when I do my videos, but I just said, fuck it. I would just hit this a couple times. Here's why the A is popping. Trap music is what it is today. A lot of motherfuckers is hate. The A sticks together. The A rocks together. They support each other. I know a lot of fucking cities out here where they don't support the local artists. I live in one. I live in Charlotte, and I see what goes on out here. I'm from the outskirts of Philadelphia. I seen what was going on out there back in 04 and 05 and what's going on today. There's no support. Ain't nobody trying to support the up and coming artists. You know what I'm saying? The A stuck together. They knew that nobody was really respecting what they was doing. They had to make motherfuckers respect them. And that's what they did by sticking together. Niggas got shows, we gonna show up to the show, we gonna cheer you on, we gonna support you. When we hit the stage, you do the same thing. And when every other artist hit the stage, they do the same motherfucking thing. They support. You feel me? But then you got cities, you go to other places, other cities. I've been around quite a few and I've seen how motherfuckers do when it comes to open mics. Certain motherfuckers will perform, some motherfuckers will listen to them. 
That other motherfuckers will perform. Niggas is at the bar. They buying their drinks. They outside smoking. They not showing love to the artists. But then you want to complain when you're not hearing your shit out there. Or when you think the kind of music that really needs to be out there ain't out there. If motherfuckers would support, then you would get that shit. You, you would have that kind of music out there. Don't hate on the trap music or the trap artists, quote unquote, or so to speak, because they doing what the fuck they need to do. They supporting each other. They helping each other get out there and they making money. And now everybody want to emulate what they doing. You can't knock the motherfuckers for what they doing. I'm saying, give me a second. My phone's ringing. Let me cut this off real quick. Dang. But anyway, damn it. Let me get the other. My bad, peoples. But, you know, you, you can't hate on them for what they doing. They're, they're doing what, what every city should do and what all artists should do collectively for each other. And then support each other. Because that's the only way you want to push each other out there. You feel me? This is why the A is jumping right now and niggas is hate. Because they support each other and other motherfuckers don't. Plain and fucking simple. So if y'all niggas want to hear that real hip hop shit, that, that shit y'all be talking about, the boom baps and all of that, support them artists that do that. Support their videos. Share their music online when you hear it. Share their mixtapes. Share their YouTube videos. Do all of that. Support them. Get them out there. When they do shows, go out there and show up. Show love. Support. When they drop a mixtape, go out there and buy it. When they drop an album, go out there and buy it. Support them. They drop a single, go on iTunes and buy it. Support them. That's how they're gonna build that shit up. And that's how y'all gonna that's how if you want that style of music to come back, then you need to support the motherfuckers that's doing that. And then we can have it back how it was in the in the mid-90s. I miss that era. I miss when you could listen to the radio and you just had a gumbo of hip hop. It was just so much different shit you could hear. You can go from Jay-Z one minute to Biggie to Nas. To LL, to Lauren Hill, to Big Pun, to Pac, to a tribe called Quest, to Public Enemy, and then go to DMX, and then I mean branch out. It was just so many different fucking styles. Everybody had their own style. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Outcast, and then you can go go to Scarface. You know what I'm saying? And that was that's what motherfuckers is missing. I see what you're talking about. You're tired of listening to the radio and then you hear the same motherfuckers just on a whole different song. Or the same song basically to a different beat with the, with just a different artist. You know what I'm saying? Everything sounds the same. I can dig that. But you can't knock the motherfuckers that's doing it. They doing it because that's how they eat. That's, that, that's they swag. That's they style. Support, support the motherfuckers that has the style that you prefer and then get them on the radio. Help them get on the radio. When they get on the radio, call in and request a song so they so the radios can keep playing it. And then you can hear that shit. And then you won't get so tired of hearing the trap music. So a lot of niggas in the trap game that I'm like, okay, I can't really, you know what I mean, listen to you. But it's a lot of motherfuckers that's hot. It's a lot of trap artists, if you want to call them that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of them I fuck with. I fucks with a, you know what I mean, I fucks with a lot of them. You feel me? But I would love to hear some some East Coast type shit. I would love to hear that that West Coast feel again. You know what I'm saying? That that shit. And put that all on the radio. We need that. That's hip hop. But motherfuckers ain't trying to support the shit that we consider, you know, hip hop. When all of this shit is our music. It's all our music. You feel me? It's all our music. So don't don't knock a motherfucker because that's what they do. Don't knock the trap music. The shit hot. It's what's popping right now. But support the motherfuckers that, that's making the underground boom bap shit. Support the motherfuckers that's over there on the West Coast making they, that style of music. Trying to bring that funk, that G-funk back. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear some of that. I would love to hear a new Regulate right now. That's that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to hear like some, some newer version of Snoop right now. Like, you know what I mean? Where's that at? Bring it. Bring it, support the motherfuckers that's bringing that shit. That's what we need in the game. That's how we that's how we stick together. Instead of letting other motherfuckers come in the game, come in our in our culture, into the hip hop culture, and then put their shit out and y'all support them, but y'all won't support the motherfuckers that's that's really trying to get out here and eat and and bring the feel back to the music. 
That's what's wrong with hip hop. We ain't supporting each other. We just doing a bunch of fucking hating. That's all it is, man. We gotta stick the fuck together. Hip hop is bigger than music, man. This is a culture. It's a culture. It, it's deeper than rap. It's way bigger than music. Way bigger than money. You know what I'm saying it's way bigger than record sales and all of that shit. This is a culture. And we need every piece of that culture. Trap music, the boom bap, the G funk. We need all that. We need all of that because that's our culture. Now I'm going to get up out of here because my dog is over here whining and shit because he need to go outside. So this was just my little rant, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man C for, for posting that because I, I feel where he coming from. You know what I'm saying? Him being from the South, he, he, you know, he feel offended because a lot of people's hating on the trap music and, and the artists and the producers that do it. I make trap beats. I love making them. You know what I'm saying? Because I live in the South. I live in Charlotte. So I gotta I gotta cater to the, the people that's down here. But I still love to make the boom bat beats. You know what I'm saying? I still love to make the beats from back home. You feel me? So I don't hate. I mean support the motherfuckers that's doing it and, and and put all of that shit out there so we can take our culture back from these fucking vultures that's out here. Let me get up out of here, man. That was my little rant, little 15 minute rant. If you still here, man, I love you. It's K Felon. It's K Felon Beats. I'm out of here, man. Deuces.